Well, for us, I think fire is a little bit of our inspirational mascot. It's all about transformation and transforming materials, transforming people, empowering. It's not really about burning things, it's more about creating with fire. It's alluring and it's dangerous, which mostly because it's powerful. It's a lot like waves in the ocean. You, you know, swim out and it's great, and then suddenly they're over your head and you're getting towed under. We've got our grinding room, our arc welding classroom. You've got six stations for oxes. When I got a sense of what I could do, I started seeking an institution or a learning environment that was really right for what I was looking for. While it really isn't all about fire down here, it's about that creative spark. The fire really happens is when you have an idea in your head, you're driven by the passion in your heart and it comes out your hands and out your voice or out your body and creates something. And before he starts cutting, there's some little flames coming out of the tip of that torch that are a mixture of oxygen and acetylene. As an artist, I really like the fact that here at the Crucible, if I want to do something like a bed frame, I can go into blacksmithing and blacksmith all the parts, and I can come over to welding and put it all together. And there's not a lot of places where you can do that. We take safety very seriously, and one of the ways we do that really is by limiting the size of our classes are very small. And that's really important to us, because one of the things we expect people to do after they take a class here is go home and get their own equipment and work out of their garage or their little studio. It's not just important that they're safe here, it's important there when they move off somewhere else and are working on their own. Right, so we just passed our glass flame working area. This is glass fusing and slumping. Here's a great example of uh, a piece of slump glass. The, the IRV truck, which is the other truck, Engine 42, is our uh, rolling studio. It's an outreach vehicle, so we use that to demonstrate things like torch cutting, welding, some glass working. Most firefighters seem to have water trucks. We have fire trucks that actually shoot fire as a, a way to reintroduce fire into people's lives. There's a little bit of re-education around fire, that it isn't all about arson and burning things up. It's about creating as well. I think fire, in a lot of ways, is representative of community. It was a gathering place before television. Everybody gathered around the fire and shared stories and so forth. It's, you know, there's warmth, it's all these things. And yeah, it is, it's sort of, especially when you start pouring like molten metal, it has this sort of feeling of lava or magma, and it, it sort of, you see it sort of bring out people's sort of inner, inner lava of themselves in some ways. It's somewhat spiritual, it's somewhat primitive, but there's something moving inside it that taps into what's moving inside you.